Hey everyone, this is the Bearded Xeno. Evil or Omega. And we got like a short little haul video, uh, mostly comics, which is strange for us. But uh, I'll let you go through yours first and try to get yours out. Well, after seeing the Deadpool movie, twice, I finally broke down and decided to get a couple of his comics. Deadpool's Art of War, and Original Sin, if I'm reading that right. Yeah, bring it up to the camera. So, there, there we go, Art of War. Here's the back. You gonna read it on the read up? Just pause, read, see what it's about. And then, Original Sin tie in. There you go. Which I'm not quite sure what that means. The original Sin tie in, read up on the back. Alright, there you go. Anything else you wanna say about it? Um, despite seeing the movie, I have very little idea what to expect. <laughs> okay. I the only thing I know is that it's gonna be funny. I know nothing else about any of the other characters that would be in here. Okay, dokie. Maybe Thor, but I don't know. Thor's in there. Well, he's on the cover of Art of War. I thought that was Wolverine. No, that's the hammer, and that's the cape, okay. and that's the okay. Because helmet. That I looks kind of like Comic Wolverine's helmet. Okay, okay. I, I didn't pay too close attention to anything. What I uh, did. It's either Thor or Wolverine. I think it's Thor because it's got those the, two the cape. things. Yeah, yeah, the cape. it's Thor. I wasn't looking that close. I like how he's got the umbrella, though. The yeah, umbrella. the Deadpool umbrella. Just look at that. The Deadpool umbrella. <laughs> That's the fucking best. Alright, uh, another thing I got always at Barnes & Nobles. It's something I've been meaning to do for a while. I've told Surprisingly Dolphin I was going to do this. I told my buddy Zom Leader that I was going to do this for a long, long time. But I picked up the Walking Dead comics. <laughs> I got Volume 1 and Volume 2 right here. Yep. Yeah. And... I've been wanting to do this for a while. I know, like, key issues and everything like that. I know plot points. I've just never actually read the comics themselves. So this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. I saw these sitting on the shelf. I mean, I was, originally wasn't going to get any comics when I'm in there. I was just going for figures today. I'm like, you know what? That looks pretty cool. And I've been wanting to do this for a while. They got one and two right here. So I'm going to get them. So that's what I did. And another thing... It's also Walking Dead related. Got this at Toys R Us. I went in there looking for alien isolation figures and for the the uh, the uh, the gen genocide wave. They had the alien isolation figures. They didn't have the Xeno, but they had both versions of Amanda. And I had just the normal jumpsuit Amanda picked up because I know I can get the Xenomorph and the normal Amanda cheap at Toy Wiz. So I was walking around with the stores like, oh yeah, I got this last one. That'd be awesome. And then I just happened to take a look at the paint. And her left eye, or yeah, left eye was over here. I'm like, that is a really bad paint mess up. I've never really seen NECA do that before. I'm just gonna put Wouldn't this. Wouldn't that add back. more value to it? No, that ruins value. See, I always thought that uh, no. I'd be bad at collecting. Yeah, it's like, oh man, her eyes messed up. <laughs> no. Well, but, I mean, if they did that one, you know, only one time in the thousands of copies that they've made. Uh, misprints on. Packaging are valuable. You know, messed up paint apps, not very valuable on, on a figure. All right. There needs to be like a chart or something on the internet that that tells me this will bring it up, this will mark it down. Yeah, the better the paint apps, the more valuable it's going to be in resale market. I had like a Fandango hiccup there. Anyways, I ended up just getting this. I had a Walking Dead building set. This was the cheapest one they had. It was $13, right? Something like that. I don't know. I started remember. to get the the prison one, but I don't know if I'm going to like these or not because I really liked building that Lego set. I just don't like the fact that it looks like Lego. And. What are you talking about that looks like Lego? That doesn't look like Lego. No, the the, the. 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 the Star Wars one. The. Oh, okay, so you mean the Lego looking like Lego? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, just the fact that it looks like Lego, you know. It, it's a good build, okay. the Race Speeder. It's a good build. I like it. It just looks like Lego. And there's a certain charm to that, but I also would like for it to be like a model kit. And that's what this is. And I like that a lot. I really do. It's not really that interchangeable. Yeah, it's not really that interchangeable, but you have like a little diorama when you're done with it, and that's cool. And they got all kinds of range of these, and if I like building this and like the way that this turns out, I'm definitely going to get a couple more review of these for the channel, because... I enjoyed building that Lego one. I just didn't like the way that it turned out looking like a Lego. I mean, I love it. I'm not going to get rid of it. I, lo I love Ray Speeder. But I just like this more. 
I like this a lot more. So I'm definitely going to build this probably today. Something like that. I don't know. Depends. And by the way, we have not opened this yet. So this can be used as proof that we got gypped or something. Yeah, brand new. So I've seen some people, you know, have missing pieces and whole bags. Like uh, Mr. Evil Cheese, if you never checked him out, he, he reviews all these. That's how I actually ended up getting into these is through his videos. I love all his videos. His videos are great. So if you've never seen Mr. Evil Cheese before, check him out. Um, a little weird because he, he has like the little action figure that he acts as like and him and his wife do that. She, you know, zombie cat. But I think it's pretty charming. I do. But it's not for everyone, but I like it. But uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, these, uh, these, what was I saying? So you're talking oh, yeah. about the he, his, The latest one that he just got, he actually ended up having two bags of the same parts, and he didn't get, like, part of some of the figures and stuff. So he had to have it returned and shit like that. <laughs> so, whew. Hopefully, this one's A-OK. -okay. Still sell, but, you know, they have plenty of these, so I can take it back over to Toys R Us and swap it out. But, can't wait to build this. So, yeah. Anything else you want to add? These are my first two comics ever. Ever? But we don't have any comic shops around here. And that's something I've always wanted to do. I want, well, over the past, like, year or so, I've wanted to open up a comic book shop in our area. But it's it's such an expensive endeavor. And it's just like, oh, other people in our area that actually like comic books? That's they the already have their suppliers and stuff. Yeah, well, not around here. Like I said, it's like we had to drive, what, 50 miles? Is that how far it is? I don't know. It's a good way down. It's a good 30 minute drive, 45 minute drive. Something Just, like that, yeah. But, hey, you know, worth it. that's why we got trade paperbacks. But, um, yeah. Uh, let us know in the comments down below what you think about uh, the hauls that we got. Uh, let us know if you've thought about getting into comics, if you've got any comics whatsoever. Yeah, I guess recommend to him if you read Deadpool, if there's any good Deadpool stories, because that's the one thing. I, I, don't, I haven't read anything as of late, or any Deadpool comics in general. So if there's a particularly good Deadpool story that he needs to read, let him know in the comments down below. Just don't say all of them, because that's obvious. <laughs> yeah, there's one that he was thinking about, too, is what, Deadpool kills... Versus the, Dracula or something. Versus Dracula and Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe. Eh, actually, if it's just him, if it's just panels of him killing people and not an actual story... Eh. <laughs> so yeah, and just... he probably has some funny quips in there, but... I. I prefer actually reading a story. So yeah, just recommend some good stuff to him. Let us know in the comments down below what you think about our pickups. And let me know if you're excited to see me build this and maybe get some more of these in the future. Because it, it's, it's not really Lego. Even though it goes together like Lego, it's like a model kit. And I like that. I really do. Anyways, I've been Peter Zeno for Click Phoenix Entertainment. Evil or Omega as a guest. Are you for clicking... You're, for, you're part of the channel. Oh my god, everybody thinks this is my channel. This is our channel. God damn it. <laughs> we, 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 I've only ever contributed as like a, a guest thing. I mean, I've never... Because you're too lazy to make videos. <laughs> this, is, this is our channel. This is our channel. You me you surprise the dolphin. Everybody thinks this is my channel. They always refer to me as, hey, Hi, Phoenix. Yeah, I'm the bearded Zeno. The click Phoenix. Hey, Zeno, we are all Phoenix. Yes, we're we're all Phoenixes, glorious Phoenixes that rose from the ashes of a failed YouTube channel. But um, that's actually a very, very, very poignant name that I think about. <laughs> wow, that is that is awesome. I think I may have said that whenever I created the channel, but or when we created the channel. Oh, no, I, me and Corey named it. Or surprisingly, Dolphin. Me and Corey surprisingly Dolphin named it. But yeah. Uh, no, hopefully they didn't. They know our names. We see our names on camera before. We're just, it's just like Game Grumps. Game Grumps, they use the real names, but they, they still try you know, go by Eagle Raptor or something like that. Yeah. Anyways, that's it. <laughs> so it's hard to you know, turn uh, five items into a ten-minute video, but we did. Hope you enjoyed. Should we pitch anything while we're here? We're not pitching the Chris Hansen thing here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, no. Oh my god, no. No, you say, you say you're a guest. Like, yeah, I want to do this video. Motherfucker, you're part of the channel. <laughs> hey, okay. Any idea I have is a group project. I can't do it by myself. Well, let's see. And then let's get it together. Keep trying. You got to do the ASO video, too. ASO, ESO.
Ah, uh, yeah. We can't give all the secrets away, but... 